Welcome back to my channel. As I promised, I am back with the recipe and directions of how to make rice aroni as a side dish for your salmon or any other dish that you make. This is a delicious rice and it's a great portion for two to four people. Um, as you can see here, I have it on the side of my salmon and another side of beans, which I will have a different video of later on today. So here what um, the box looks like. It is a simple rice aroni. I'm using the Mexican style. You've seen this probably in your grocery store. The only thing I'm doing different, I substitute the butter for two tablespoons of olive oil. So once the oil is heated up after one minute, go ahead and add your rice aroni. This is what it should look like. Go ahead and saute it with the oil, mix it well together. And after five minutes, this is what it should look like. I highly suggest that you stay on top of it because they burn easily. And trust me, it doesn't taste good. When is burned. I've done it and it was not good. Like I said, I'm following the directions on the box. So after the rice aroni turned golden brownish, I went ahead and added two and a half cups of water and the mix that came with the rice aroni. It's usually in, in a brown little packet in the box. So I went ahead and mixed them all well together and bringing it to boil at it had suggested on the box. After you see the boil, go ahead and mix it again and cover it up now and put it on medium heat for 18 minutes. The box had suggested I put it for 15 minutes, but for making these before, my experience in the past, I find it that it tastes better and it's better cooked if I put, I put it for additional two to three minutes. Here it says 15, but I am putting it for 18 minutes. Make sure you set your timer. And voila, after 20 to 25 minutes, you should have this beautiful rice aroni in front of you. As you saw, it was very simple to make. Um, just follow the directions on the box, make sure you follow the measurements and the timer. And um, yeah, it was very simple, it was delicious. I did substitute the butter for olive oil. I'm pretty sure it tastes even better with the butter. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments, questions, you know what to do. And um, I'll see you next time.